So what you're seeing here on the screen here is Lotus Notes 8.5.1 and I'm running the Mac OS version. Um, this also works with Windows and all that kind of stuff as well. The cool thing is that, that it works with both. Um, that's what I really like about it. So let me show you what it does. So basically here I can see on my sidebar the file navigator and I can just click on there and it starts to show me my files on my operating system. So I think it's pretty pretty cool like that. Okay, so let's take it a step further. If I actually create a new email, I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut Command M on Apple Mac or Control M on a PC, and I'm going to send an email to my Gmail address, gmail.com. And I'm going to say this is a test. Now, it so happens that I may want to actually include a file of my um, operating system or network neighborhood, whatever the case might be. So I can see here that I've got a photo of my grandfather. So I can drag and drop that into the email, just like that. Okay, so one of the good things is that. Um, if I'd actually received an email with an attachment again, I'm just going to open up documents here, I could actually take the attachment and I could drag it out of the email into the, um, oopsie, did the wrong thing, into the sidebar, into whichever place I wanted it to be. So I'd drag it into documents. And I should be able to get this scroll down. And here's a picture in that folder now. So. It's very easy to kind of manage attachments that you're, you're emailed or wanting to email people. And obviously this doesn't just work within the um, um, email feature of Lotus Notes. It works within any document in Lotus Notes where you can put an attachment. So um, the ease of just dragging and dropping it into the operating system and being able to do whatever you want to do and then drag it back into another document. It's just really easy. Um, I think it's great. And I know that there's a... Um, a few people that I've spoken to who um, eagerly went away and tried to install it as well. So to get hold of this file you just go to openntf.org and um, they'll be able to provide it or just search Google for openntf which is one word O-P-E-N-N-T-F dot org space file navigator and that would take you there and it's as simple as, as dragging a link from their website over onto your widget bar and it will install it automatically for you. So really, really simple.